Have you ever jacked in? Have you ever wire tripped? This is not like TV only metaphor. This is life. Welcome back to uh, Sneak Door TV's coverage of the vintage kit. We had a good games in Melbourne recently. Uh, this is round two, game two. Mm-hmm. Joining us again is Eric. How's it going, Eric? Uh, it's going real well, man. It's going real well. I'm, I'm great. <laughs> Rob, um, what are these guys playing here today? All right, on the left here, we have Matt. He's playing his Fisk deck. We saw this uh, a couple of videos ago, and it was very interesting to <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man, I love this this uh, deck. It's going to be so exciting. And then right here, we have Luke playing HB. If I know anything about Luke, it's either going to be Jammy or Fast Fats. Oh, wow. He likes to go fast. He though. likes to go fast. Uh, it seems like his runners like to go slow as well. Yeah. This, this Fisk is definitely a slow runner. Mm. I, I think uh, if there's one thing I've learned from Fisk so far, it's that he has a very high skill ceiling. <laughs> um, and perhaps a very high skill floor. You uh, really <laughs> want to know what you're doing if you're uh, oh, yeah. showing up at the Fisk party. I think so, you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> it could be the dark horse of criminal. Oh, he's got the tape one down. Tape one is a great guy. Oh my god, I love it so much. Okay, so that's pretty good synergy. He ran archives, forced the draw, then got the tape one out. Yeah, that's that's a really good turn, I think. The other way could be better if there was maybe a dirty laundry in there or something. <laughs> Bet hey, I'm not gonna split hairs in a turn one like that. Okay, so that's a remote setup here as well. It's very quick, man. Oh, when you get and like that, a Fisk yeah. for four cards, I mean, you gotta do something, right? He was given four cards. Yeah, he's, uh, he's playing pretty uh, fast and loose with a Fisk here, huh? Another Especially fist. against a deck that's got an economic idea. At the same, and what's at the same point, like, he just instilled two things. If that is an agenda, he's not doing anything with those cards. And he's going to have to dis- discard four or five cards. Oh, yeah, wow, that is a bit of a fall, huh? Yeah. On the other hand, if that's a break big written on the Donna's campaign... He's got three clicks to play with, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> and a whole bunch of money to play uh, those cards with as well. Enigma. Yeah, that's good. Make him spend some money. Oh, lose a click. You've got no money. Hmm. Yeah, what would you would you be smashing into the remote click one this uh, this turn, or would you sort of just let it play out however it plays out? If I'm ever going to play check HP, it's going to be click one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same. Probably would have. Yeah. That would have been alright. Yeah, and if it's the remote, like. It, you've got a fair child over there or something and you click through. Like, that's enough of an economic setback to be uh, yeah. Ooh, Breach in the bed. That's right. He plays a lot of central only Breach. He does, here, doesn't yeah. he? I think he has the remote as well. Oh, oh wow. Wow, well, the KBT. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Side of benefit, he's actually going to deny the tape on credits, right? Uh, yeah. That's yeah, solid. He is. <laughs> he's going to fire it. Oh, nice. I love it. Well, I mean, like, if he doesn't, he's losing a lot of tempo here. True, going down two credits, he's got it. Oh, yeah, like, R&D gets smashed after that. <laughs> and the remote gets scrubbed. <laughs> Man, I would, oh, I'd be going the remote here. I think you're right. Absolutely. That remote is juicy as hell right now. Hey, he didn't res last turn. It can't be the Adonis. There's no break of bane there. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's not an Adonis. That is a ripe fruit hanging low from the tree. <laughs> All right, it's checking archives. Smart choice after ABT. Yeah. Kind of missed. Does he, uh, does he trigger the draw? Oh, yeah, he triggers the draw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Draw every time, right? Absolutely. Otherwise, <laughs> why are you even here? Exactly. If you're not going to make him draw every time as Fisk, then with Fisk. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this style of deck with um, uh, stuff like Hernando Cortez, like strong economic pressure, yeah. I think is like the way you want to go. Um, and like... Getting Luke down to two credits. Yeah, I think why Luke, not make him? Luke draw? got himself down to two credits. <laughs> yeah, well, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so uh, he's going the paperclip. Interesting. Ah, yeah. uh, yeah. not the uh, not the passport. It's true. Like, what's a paperclip for? Yeah, or like if there's a Gordian blade or something similar, man. Yeah. Like, I'd be going straight for my uh, code gate breaker. Yeah, my Dakota. Yeah, that is interesting. He's only on, he's pretty poor too. I don't know. Taking credit. Interesting. It's a little bit of a so money okay. He's yeah. probably going to discard the paper clip here. Otherwise, I'm not sure why he passed. Ah. Why he uh, special, special ordered for it. Yeah, yeah there, there it is. 
Good sense of that rock. <laughs> Do you feel like um, of those of us still in the scene? Oh, wait, he's going to change his mind. Oh. Okay. Oh! Interesting. He's, he's scared of the arc lockdown. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> well, three cards in the server. Oh, wow, I guess um, two upgrades, or maybe that's an, another upgrade? Look, I would hate it if that was the break of big rift you just drew into, and he's gonna get like an Ash or a Caprice before you <laughs> That would, I'd be so salty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Matt, please smash into Luke's remote. He's got a change of balance. Let's see what he does. I mean, he's his own man. He's gonna make his own choices. Are they casino dice? They are casino dice. Fisk seems like the kind of guy who uh, yeah. spends all the time at the casino. Oh, it doesn't seem like a wise investment there, right? Oh, God, no. But is Fisk a wise investor? He's a savvy investor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that answers my question, Rob. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe he brings his own dice, and that's why he oh, has safe yeah. investments. It's, every gamble is a sure gamble. <laughs> Holy Hester. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Magnificent. Oh, man. I don't know when he's getting into HQ, though. Mm. Maybe he's just, like, holding onto the sneak door. Yeah. 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 That could be pretty rough. So, uh, I always found it interesting that Polyhester has the link on it. I think it's good. Yeah. I need, but... I need a link. It, it's Fisk's console, but really, isn't it? <laughs> well, he has so many connections there, right? That's yeah. what a link is. It's like your connection to the underworld, sort of connection to the network and mm -hmm. people and stuff like that. Thematically quite strong. But yeah. on the other hand, Fisk doesn't have a base link. Yeah, that was he doesn't, does he? No, it's it's kind of I'm weird. not sure. Yeah, it's quite unusual. Um, we got an internal directive as the console on the same release as Steve Cambridge as well. Yeah. I don't think it's Steve's console though. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, it does trigger off HQ runs still. Mm -hmm. so maybe it's just like bringing your tempo forward to every HQ run. Yeah, along with his ID. And I think Steve Cambridge is very much an economic pressure ID. Yeah, yeah. You really want to be getting those siphons down as regularly as possible, so you're not going to mind Letting triggering. Yeah. yeah, maybe. <laughs> that doesn't make mm. sense. Yeah, maybe there is a thematically cogent deck in there somewhere. <laughs> is it the best deck? <laughs> Well, we'll post it up and let you guys decide. <laughs> <laughs> How sexy does that Cobra look in full bleed art? Oh, it is great. Big fan of these full bleed cards. They just make your decks look so nice. Oh, yeah. Full bleed ice is... <laughs> oh, just gorgeous. Uh, I'm gonna draw. Uh, what's Matt's plan here? I think he has his decoder in hand. Maybe that's why he got the paperclip. Just to fill out his suite. Mm. Yeah, he's going to install it again. Yeah, oh, no, it's the paperclip. paperclip. Hey. I'm not sure. <laughs> what are you waiting yeah, for, man? strange choice. I'm going down to two credits to do it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have the credit at the end there. Yeah. Oh, Apocalypse. Oh. Oof. This is a spicy deck. Oh, sure is <laughs> spicy. Oh, we're going to find some of these cards in the remote. How many cards? I'll get the Breaker Bay and the CVS. Okay, yeah. And... Not raising the last one? Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. I just need another upgrade. So he's installing trash in the Breaker Bay grid. Um, I'm feeling a sand sand here. I think it has to be. There's no other reason to trash the Breaker Bay grid, right? Yeah. Kind of two regions. And I'm really feeling <laughs> that that third card is an agenda right now. <laughs> really feeling that it's an agenda. It could be. But he can't score next turn with seven credits. With a Sansa. No. No, you're quite right. Oh. Uh, oh, he's purging. Denying the tapeworm. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely worth it. <laughs> okay. Oh. I mean, on seven credits, if one of those is a fair child, you're getting straight through. Yeah, just check first click, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the play. <laughs> What's the point of having a face if you're not going to shove it into some scary unresed ice? I think you're right. I like this thinking. Mm. More people should be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just that's... saying that because I play three DNA trackers. No, no, not at all. How many Cortex luck as well? Or oh, two Cortex luck. Oh, so yeah, good. yeah. And a couple of, a couple of uh, a crick at least for good measure. <laughs> yeah, so you had the decoder on hand. That's why he's special order for the paper clip. That makes oh, sense. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I think when you get the more you've got on the board, like the more li 
reliability you have with face checking, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> it's true. Now, face checking that inner ice on R&D. It's another Cobra. Yeah, it's a bad spot. Mm. Truth. So, yeah. Well, that's why you got to run the remote first. <laughs> For some reses. Get that economy into a position where you're really comfortable uh, using your knowledge of the ice pool to get some prediction on what's going to be resed on the road. <laughs> Forged activation orders it started seeing that cut around a little bit in most yeah. decks. Yeah. It's oh, really cool. underrated. It's got some interesting plays now. I yeah. The enough cards that synergize with the raising and de raising. Yeah. I think it's terrible to include in certain decks. Not to mention, like, there are times where you really want to know what that piece of ice is. <laughs> Back to the corset days. Yeah. Instead of face checking, oh, just show it to me. That's easier. Playing yeah, right. Like, <laughs> playing infiltration just so you don't get hurt. <laughs> Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, but then again, if you've got a face. And do you think that's why Mimic is a mask? <laughs> Perfect. People are scared of shoving their faces into things. Look at that. Do you pay or do you click? I would click. Actually, you can't clear tags then, but what does he need to clear tags for? Yeah, I'd click through that. But he's paying for it. Yeah. Yeah, I maybe he wants the, uh, to do something else with the rest of his clicks. Yeah, maybe. I think you just um, pocket a prepaid off the draw there as well. Prepaid? Yeah, prepaid voice pad. I might be wrong. Rezzing the sand sand to dodge the siphon. Oh, wow. Is that a custom art sand sand? No, no, no. It's oh, not the full blade. Oh, wow. Um, and so nice they gave us that. Like, we don't need to fill a check for set anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. At least, I think it's kind of funny that there's. um. No bit of more economical time yeah. to get into <laughs> Netrunner. Exactly. Don't need to buy three core sets anymore. Why yeah. in a couple like uh, championship books. decks? And you probably got everything you need. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Just gonna access. Oh, Ooh, that's nice one. pick. Pretty good. But now he is broke and there's a live sand sand. And Luke can score with one credit. He gets oh, really? a credit from him still. Yeah, yeah. I'm still under the assumption that that's an a... agenda. Yeah, an agenda in there. Um, well, I bet he could just like click for a credit, advance, advance, and he's got himself a three for two. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So click for credit. That said, I'd be surprised he waited this long if that was yeah. a three for two. Yeah, it's true. Oh, interesting economic position here. Well, no, it is gross. Mm. <laughs> Very yucky. I think these um, two decks, as we understand them, I think Luke is in a better position. Oh, hundred percent. He's really going to bounce back a lot better. Luke is in the position where he's demanding answers to what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, he's got the uh, he's got the temper. Yeah, that's just kind of poking around. Mm. Yeah, the um the long term game plan with Fisk is the thing that's always been the sticking point, I think. The ability to sustain. Yeah, definitely is. Alright, what's this card here then? Is he going to rest it? Ooh. This has just been such a mystery this whole game. Absolutely. <laughs> Could it be a Tori Hanzo? Oh. Ah! Jackson. Popping the Jackson. Okay, I think he's going to score then. Yeah. Just popping Jackson first. Uh, yeah, get the Biotic back in there. Yep, hedge one back in there as well. <laughs> well, they hedge and something else which I missed. Yeah, I think I may have missed that too. Uh, yeah, definitely going for the score. Mm, that was a really nice shade of uh, Tiffany green there on the sleeves as well. <laughs> Once more, Melbourne runners. You got a very artistic eye, Eric. Every game you commented on um, people's Some... watches, what they're doing, the decks, <laughs> like, oh. No runner is an aesthetic game. <laughs> Firing a second ABT. Oh, I love oh. you, Luke. That is oh, Tapestry. Oh, that is amazing. The loosest of gooses. <laughs> oh, it, you know that Tapestry is going to live on RMD, too. It is like, oh, it is such a brutal piece of ice for RMD. But maybe mm. that could play into Matt's strategy, right? You could just face check, like run into it. Oh, yeah. Making Matt. I think um, it's a May draw, though. It is a May draw, you're right. Yeah. Which is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, I think like that's the power level I like for a new release. It's like Tapestry is a big spooky thing, shakes <laughs> up the meta a bit. You've got to sort of like have it in the back of your mind. That's such a good piece of ice. Yeah, I love it. Taking a credit? I think the um, 
the terminal directive device for the most part for HB yeah. was really impressive. Yeah. Executive functioning was a great addition. <laughs> um, Home Guard, I think, is like a great Make substitute for dollars. Assassin. <laughs> yeah, Home Guard is amazing, actually. All right. <laughs> He's triggering again, the fist. What do we got in there? Nothing. Oh, yeah. It's it looked like an Adonis and a Biotic. Uh, and some itchies. But they were discarded, they weren't up from the ABT. Mm. And he's been getting some uh, lucky ABTs, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Six cards hasn't hit an agenda. Well, I think if he's keeping all those agendas in hand, um, oh, maybe, that's, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Mm. It's always the problem with uh, making them draw on the HQ on her with polyester and <laughs> diluting, potentially, your chances of hitting the agenda. Maybe you're not adding, adding an agenda, you really can't tell. Maybe that's the perfect reason to play a... Uh, it's kind of information, information sifting. Yes. Because, <laughs> like, if you think about it, your odds are never worse than 50 50. Yeah. And that's fine. It doesn't matter how many cards I have. Yeah, it seems pretty good to me. So, yeah, if you make them draw, why not? And I tell you what, with a lot of cerebral imaging around uh, in the global <laughs> meta, I would say, in, what month is it, June of 2017, when we're recording this? <laughs> yeah. Not like, a think, Yeah, it's a good time to be playing information sifting. Nice bit of spice. Nice bit of spice, I like that. Okay. Alright. We've got his money back in the board. I think Matt should trash that. Oh, that is so gross. So it goes, puts him back down to zero. Oh, wow. It's yeah. a very sad spot for Matt to be in. Absolutely. Maybe. And you guess, know what? He can score another three. He has a Temujin in hand. Just chuck it on that remote. He just drew one. Mm. Yeah, Temi on the remote would be phenomenal. Yeah. You can just trash it last click. Yeah. I think that's still worth it. Yeah, definitely. Interesting. They yeah, letting him have money, which is fair. Mm. It would have bankrupted him to trash it, which is not a fun time. No, that's, <laughs> that's the opposite of what you want. I think he's just going to be drawing for agendas now. Yeah, because he's um yeah he's ready he's, to go. He's, uh, like he's in a good spot. <laughs> Maybe money up a bit so he can actually res the ice on the remote. <laughs> is that is that an, that's another that's one? It looks one. like that's another. Oh my god! Come um, on, fire, fire it! it. Fire, fire it! Fire it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, chicken. Give me that ah, no! Ah, chicken. It's gonna be sensible. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's uh, Gospel of Netrunner. Always Ooh. be firing. <laughs> Push your mark. Why, why are you even playing it if you're not? <laughs> yeah. What are you waiting for? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. You're Matt right now? What do you do? Oh. Yeah, I don't have much for you here. That is a tough question to be part of. Now that he's up to three credits instead of one, it's totally different. I'd love to, sure, yeah. Trash the sand sand, but then he can still, like, and then she trash the sand sand and the, uh, the Adonis. Yeah. Because he can biotic out. Okay, so it's still the same old thing. Same old thing to play uh, Dirty Laundry, trash the Adonis, and get five credits back. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Three clicks, he trashed the Adonis, and ended up equal credits which mm -hmm. isn't terrible yeah but now he has to trash his hands then right <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> there's no reason not to oh, oh, oh there down to zero which is pretty is gross. that game yeah that's game yep. gross oh wow <laughs> what did we learn here uh sand sand man like it's a powerful card still <laughs> you gotta deal with it it's funny people see the Oberth protocol res in yeah. a jumpersing game they're just like oh man I gotta go deal with that yeah, it's but true. people leave sand sands around for Sansan some reason five still. Sand trash cost to be fair like Matt trashing out at any point would have been a very bad spot yeah but I tell you what leaving it up he was in a much worse one that's true that's true no, you, can, no, you just do it anyway you gotta play in the game <laughs> <laughs> anyway Thanks everyone for joining us. We've been uh, I've been Rob. Uh, I've been Eric mostly. Yeah. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. <laughs>